Absolutely, as always. And you know, Susan, we both know, and we all know that the holidays, you know, they're really about creating special memories, yeah. right, with your family. And for many people, just going to the movies is their holiday tradition. Yes, and for 15 years, Pollock Cinema Tempe, uh, Pollock Tempe Cinemas has been spreading cheer, holiday cheer, by offering $3 movies. Thousands of families, they pack this historic theater year after year. Michael Pollack joining me now. Michael, why do so many people and families traditionally and faithfully come back to Pollock Tempe Cinemas? You know, I think it's because we truly offer them a unique experience. And I have to tell you, I've been to movie theaters all over the country, but I've never seen another one exactly like this one. I have to agree with you. When I walked in here, I was blown away. It's like a museum. Tell us about some of the memorabilia collection you have inside the cinema. You know, we have so many cool pieces. First of all, every time a wax museum would close, whether it would have been in Philadelphia, California, I would go to the auctions and try to buy pieces. So I would try to pick up pieces that were um, part of history. And we also would collect the autographs of different stars um, from today all the way back into the 1920s or 30s. So there's a little bit of something for everyone to see. Then we have, of course, the lunchbox collection. Yeah, that's awesome. So we have all kinds of incredible stuff over here. It's like Hollywood. It really is. It's like walking back down memory lane, if you will. When did you open this cinema and what improvements have you made? Well, we actually opened the cinema back about 15 years ago. And um, we pretty much took over what was existing. And we've had about three different rounds of remodeling over the last 15 years. The most recent being over the last couple of years. We went with these incredible, you know, sit yeah, back, lay back nice. seats. <laughs> and um, they're pretty comfortable. Yeah. I know my wife gets mad at me all the time because sometimes I fall asleep um, while I'm watching the You're movie. supposed to be watching the film. But, um, I do my best, but these chairs are so comfortable. They are. And, um, you know, we changed over to, of course, digital sound and digital um, projectors and mm -hmm. then we just recently finished putting all new snack bar and so we really have spent a lot of time and effort creating something that truly would be a unique experience and most importantly we charge three dollars <laughs> for a lot of these people they've been coming for so long it's like a home away from home. I agree. And, and that's what we want them to feel like. We want them to feel when they come here, it's like coming into their living room, relaxing. There's some of them that, you know, I've just been great people that we've had the opportunity to meet. I love this. And when you walk in, especially right now, the holiday displays are just beautiful. What can people expect? Well, thank you, first of all, for that compliment. We've been working on the holiday display for about three and a half weeks now, wow. almost four weeks. This year we'll have several hundred thousand lights. We've changed the entire display over to LED lights. Two reasons, one, to conserve on energy, of course, because I'm a big fan of that. And two is because we get so much more light, so much more intensity um, that it's just amazing. And then also this year, we've added additional um, additional animations. So we're gonna have even more animations this wow. year than we've ever had. And I think it's just one of the most exciting exterior shows we've put on. And of course the interior, we're back again with everything that we've done in the past, plus a few surprises. Oh, and lots of surprises, and you're known for that. You like to, you like the wow factor. I tell you what, you know what? I think the second film's about to start. You wanna watch it? Absolutely. All right, we got our popcorn. Let's watch. From the cinema to the studio, we are excited to have Michael Pollack joining us on our set. Good to see you. So tell us about your philanthropic spirit throughout the Valley all year long. 
you know, uh, for me, it's about giving back. And I think that if everybody gave just a little piece back, this world would be such a better place. Yeah. And so I stay pretty active, as you know. Yes, you do. And you and you do. We work with so many organizations, especially this time of year. And the APS Electric Light Parade is one of those events that you don't miss. Your float is always a crowd pleaser. Tell us about your partnership and your involvement year after year. Well, you know, I'll tell you, I am thrilled to be a part of the big parade again this coming Saturday night. Um, we will have the band back with 11 pieces again on the float. Um, we'll have some really, I think, some great special surprises on the lighting side, and we'll have so a couple of new songs we'll bring out. Um, <laughs> so you play all the time, right? You play drums. I play drums, yes. Oh, and, and it's and a fun, it's a fun, fun float. I was, I was at that parade. I was like, I want to jump on that, that float. They're having a good time. There's some video of you guys last year. It's always a dance party. What was the first movie you ever saw? You know, first movie. My God, I think my mother took me when I was a little kid, and I'm probably dating myself, so I'm going to say I was like six months old at the time. Yeah, right. Now everybody's going to check their little um, phone apps and say, oh, what year was that? I think it was actually Mary Poppins. Wow. Um, and yeah, and I always thought it would be really cool to be able to fly around like that. Of course, as I got older, I realized there's no chance of that at well, all. Well, I don't know. you got some magic spirit going. I, I think there's something special. But you, you didn't I intend to start out in the movie industry, did you? No. Actually, as you know and many others do, I'm in the real estate business and we own and operate shopping centers. But when we took over or we were about to take over this shopping center, I had three choices. One was I could close down the theater and I had a lot of people in the neighborhood that would have been very upset with me because mm -hmm. they made that very clear to me before we even bought the center. Uh, the second thing I could do is I could create a new game because of the slope floors called downhill bowling. <laughs> um, and then the third thing I could do was I said, okay, look, I could learn how to operate a movie theater. Well, at that time, this was about 15 years ago, the only thing I knew about operating a movie theater or knew about movie theaters, I should say, was I knew how to buy a ticket. I knew how to buy popcorn and I knew how to sit in my seat. Right. Little did I know that fast forward, I know how to actually sell you your ticket. <laughs> now I could make the popcorn and I'm pretty good at that, by the way. I, you are. You were, you were great. We were eating a lot of popcorn when I was <laughs> out of your theater. And you've got amazing people working with you and for you at the theater. They love their jobs. Is that what you're, you're really going for? You want the, to create an environment where people feel comfortable. You know, for me, the movie theater is something that if everybody always asks me, why don't you open another one or another one? I'm like, mm -hmm. no, I can handle the one that I've got, and it's not my main business, thank God. Um, yeah. If I had to make my living on the movie theater business, I'd be an awfully skinny guy. Oh, um, well, but but yeah. you know what? It, we employ a lot of great people, yeah. um, and we have some of the most incredible customers in the world. They are so loyal, you know, because we are a second run. They'll wait that four or five or six weeks, and you know they just love being a part of it. And to to everybody at the movie theater that works there, they're like part of a big family. Yeah, that's and right. so it's so different than anything else. Um, I and I've learned that if people come to see us one time, they'll be back many times. Right. We just don't, don't ever really get complaints. It people love wonderful. it. It was wonderful. It was a wonderful experience and a wonderful afternoon to be out there and see the, it's, it's incredible. It is like a little mini museum there. We appreciate you so much for spending some time with us here on Sonoran Living and great success to your business. We, Thank you. All right, let's give you some information. Pollock Tempe Cinemas is home to the $3 movies. They are located on the southeast corner of McClintock and Elliott Roads in Tempe. Stay informed through their social Social media and Facebook sites. And to see movie times, call 480 345 6461 or visit their website, PollockTempeCinemas.com. Oh,